Well, hello there, YouTube family. Auntie is here. Patty Jackson. I know the only thing that was up this weekend was the, the weekend entertainment report. Friday was slow. It was. And I said, I don't want to really force anything or just put something together. I said, I'm going to wait until we just got a ton of stories to talk about. Plus, I, I'm, I'm, I'm into catching planes now because I'm trying to create this balance in my life. And I spent the weekend in the beautiful city of Charlotte, North Carolina, and had a wonderful, wonderful time. And, and it was good. Let's talk about what's going on. Mariah Carey. Jay-Z, are they fighting? Mariah Carey says no, but the reports that came over the weekend, and you know where there's smoke, there's fire. There was a blowout. There was a meeting. Um, Mariah Carey's no longer with Rock Nation Records. Did Jay-Z insult Mariah? Refer to her as kind of like old and not really what, they, what, what they're looking to do or what she wants to do? They say there was a blow up. Mariah says there wasn't. She would never, you know, argue with Jay-Z, but she's moving on. And she has a new project coming out with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis this week. Now, y'all know Jam and Lewis had all those hits for Janet Jackson. So this is going to be a very interesting project. But Mariah Carey is new music, and she's planning a world tour at 51. Should she be discounted by others who feel she may not be hip enough? Mariah Carey has an unbelievable voice. And even with the antics, you can't discount Mariah Carey, who is still out here, out here doing. And, and I can't wait to hear this music. It's coming this week, y'all. Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis producing Mariah Carey. But Mariah says to her and Jay-Z are not fighting. Tiffany Haddish is being offered millions to write a follow-up to her best-selling 2017 book, The Last Black Unicorn. What should she talk about? Her adventures in Hollywood. Yes, working on movies, certain things. I wonder, will she mention comments? She may, she may not. She's been real quiet about that, saying, I kind of want this relationship to last. But she's being offered millions. Last week, it was announced she's going to be executing, producing, and starring in a movie on the late Olympic track star, Florence Griffith Joyner. Not everybody is happy about this, and it's not the fact that Tiffany is going to play her. It's the fact that... Florence's husband, her, the widow, the, the widower, he's got a big part in the telling of the story. Florence's family is like, wait a minute, hold up. You denied us access to our granddaughter. You rushed and got married to another woman. It was a white woman um, shortly after Florence died. What's going on here? And their relationship is strained. The family is not happy about this because that the husband at the time that Florence died is having a major part of it. Florence Griffith Joyner, 38 years old when she passed. It was 1998. Um, for all the success in the Olympics and things like that, it was a tragic ending. Speaking of the Olympics, Simone Biles continues. She won her like seventh all-around title last night. It, it was amazing. And she's getting us all hyped up for the Olympics in Tokyo, which is in just a few weeks. Jennifer Lopez has signed a deal exclusively with Netflix that will take place after next year. Comedian Cat Williams for, you know, sometimes you may think, what's going on with him? Sometimes he makes a lot of sense. He recently talked about the cancel culture, which is what we talked about on his podcast, Patty and the Millennials. Like, who are they? And do you cancel them? He brought up some good points about you got to have a speed limit. Because people just can't just go out and just do whatever they want to do. And he says there is no cancel culture. There's just people who don't want to follow the rules. David E. Talbert teaming up with LeBron James. Better Late. It's a new comedy coming to ABC about a single dad who becomes a first-time dad, right? And then his father, who abandoned him, comes back into his life and how he's dealing with with both dynamics. LeBron James is going to have a lot of time in his hand with the Lakers being bounced uh, with TV projects. This is going to be his life after 
basketball. And of course, Space Jam 2, featuring the voice of Zendaya, it hits theaters on July 16th. It was real shocking last week when the Lakers were ousted. But I only wish that LeBron, because when you're a leader, it's hard to, 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 to wear that mantle when you're a leader. And I wish he had stayed. The team was a little, a little blown out, but he had just stayed there to encourage his teammates or at least to shake hands with the people who beat them. And being a leader, you got to step up and kind of like be the better man. It's an interesting thing, but I just wish that LeBron had handled that. I hate when people attack him. Let's put it like that. Snoop Dogg is going to be the new A&R guy at Def Jam Records. You know, when he was that mentor on The Voice, he likes that, encouraging and finding, because artists need to be groomed, and this is something that doesn't happen. Artists are not groomed. They get you to sign away everything, and once the hit records stop, it's like, hopefully... Snoop Dogg will be able to change and turn situations like that around. I had so many notes. Felicia Rashad, she's returning to Broadway in a production entitled Skeleton Crew. It's about auto workers in Detroit. Their, their plant is closing and how it affects them because they've been working together for so many years and for so long. Diddy at a party last week, one of the dancers caught fires. She went to go down low and she had feathers on and one of the feathers knocked up to some fire and she caught fire. But they say she is doing well. Vanessa Bryant, she gave her sister-in-law, Sharia Bryant, a brand new Tesla, the electric car, as a birthday present. So if Vanessa don't get along with all of the family, she certainly gets along with the Sixer, with, with with the sister. I'm thinking of the Sixers, our basketball team. Last night's fight, I just want to end it on this note. It was trash. Do not be giving money to pay-per-view. I was like, I'm not giving Mayweather any any money. People want their money back. They were like, was it fixed? He almost lost, y'all. I didn't watch it. I, I followed it via Twitter because they had all the things and I saw clips. He could have lost. He really could have. He No one won or lost, but Mayweather almost ran down because he took some blows to the face. Now, Logan Paul took blows too, but I want to see some real boxing. That's what I want to see. Auntie wants to see some real boxing. You guys gave me a great choice in our mother's gardens, Netflix. I'm going to check that out. It's about the relationship between black women and their mothers. I probably have to have a tissue beside me because y'all know I'll be missing my mom. Um, thanks for the suggestion because I'm definitely going to do my research tonight and check it out. Thanks so much for joining us. I went, oops, hug. I was so excited about my weekend. And then I had to explain, like, well, how come there wasn't a report on Friday? But we hugged because it's not cute, not knowing, and you never know who could be going through something, and they need that hug. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. I do read it, and some people are so shocked. They're like, she reads the comments. I do. Um, notification bell. Read the comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. I appreciate you guys. And for pop culture and entertainment, we just like to keep you going with that. But thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.